This is the Music History Today podcast for August 3rd. On today's show, McCartney gets his wings, Motown gets sold, and Tony Bennett gets his signature song. First up, though, on this date in 1926, Tony Bennett performed his signature song, I Left My Heart in San Francisco, for the first time. In 1956, The Chips recorded the song Rubber Biscuit. The song later became a big hit for the Blues Brothers. In 1963, the Beatles played at the Cavern Club for the final time. In 1968, the Newport Pop Festival started. Alice Cooper and the Birds were among the performers that time. In 1968, Johnny Cash's guitarist Luther Perkins was trapped in a house fire. He passed away two days later from his injuries. In 1969, Janis Joplin and Little Richard were among the performers at the Atlantic City Pop Festival. In 1971, Paul McCartney formed the group Wings. In 1974, Jeff Baxter quit Steely Dan in order to join the Doobie Brothers. In 1991, Pearl Jam played at the Seattle club Rock Candy. The footage from the show was used in Pearl Jam's music video for their debut single, Alive. In 1991, same day, Heavy D and the Boys and Salt and Pepper were among the performers at the KMEL Summer Jam Concert Festival. In 1993, Motown Records was sold by Boston Ventures to Polygram Records for 325 million U.S. dollars. In 2010, Madonna launched a clothing line called Material Girl. In 2015, Gwen Stefani and Gavin Rossdale of Bush announced that they were getting divorced. In 2016, Modest Mouse was involved in an auto accident when he fell asleep at the wheel. In 2017, rapper Kid Creel was arrested for the stabbing death of a homeless man in New York City. In 2021, Tony Bennett performed for the next to last time in honor of his 95th birthday with Lady Gaga at Radio City Music Hall. He would soon retire from performing due to his oncoming Alzheimer's disease and not being able to travel too much. He passed away on July 21, 2023. In classical music in 1829, Giacchino Rossini premiered his William Tell opera. In theater in 1897, the musical Good Mr. Best opened on Broadway. In 1963, the Broadway show No Strings closed. And in 1974, the Broadway shows Little Night Music and Words and Music both closed. In award ceremonies that were held on August 3rd, in 1999, Patsy Cline received her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Albums that were released on August 3rd include in 1959 when Brenda Lee released Grandma, What Great Songs You Sang. In 1969, Creedence Clearwater Revival released Green River. In 1970, Canned Heat released Future Blues. In 1973, Stevie Wonder released Inner Visions, a classic album. In 1979, Talking Heads released Fear of Music. In 1980, Scylla Black released Especially For You. In 1982, Peter Frampton released The Art of Control. In 1987, Def Leppard released their big-selling album, Hysteria. In 1991, Babes in Toyland released To Mother. In 1992, The Hollywood Flames released their self-titled album. Uncle Tupelo released March 16th through 20th, 1992. The Beach Boys released Summer in Paradise. And In Excess released Welcome to Wherever You Are. In 1993, Sheryl Crow released Tuesday Night Music Club. And Buju Banton released Voice of Jamaica that same day. Tuesday Night Music Club would go on to win numerous Grammy Awards, by the way. In 1998, Kylie Minogue released Mixes. In 1999, Alison Krauss released Forget About It. The Basement Jacks released Remedy. And The Pie Masters released Awesome Mixtape Volume 6. And REO Speedwagon released REO Speedwagon The Ballads. In 2009, Scylla Black released the definitive collection A Life in Music. In 2010, The Black Crows released Crowology and Government Mule released Millennium. Singles that were released in the UK on August 3rd include in 1973 when the Edgar Winter Group released Free Ride. Great song. 
Meanwhile in America, in 1962, Aretha Franklin released Try Little Tenderness. In 1967, Martha Reeves and the Vandellas released Love Bug, Leave My Heart Alone. In 1981, Sheena Easton released For Your Eyes Only from the James Bond movie. In 1982, Don Henley released Johnny Can't Read. In 1985, Bon Jovi released In and Out of Love. In 1999, Santana and Rob Thomas released Smooth. And in 2017, Camila Cabello released Havana. Before we continue, we'd like to tell you about the Music History In-Depth podcast, where we go in-depth on the history of some of the events from the daily version of the Music History Today podcast. The Music History In-Depth podcast drops new episodes every Tuesday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. We also have the Music Halls of Fame podcast where we honor a year in music along with a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, along with who we think should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Plus, we honor a different museum, Walk of Fame or Hall of Fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to the Music History Today podcast. Artists who were born on August 3rd include the iconic jazz singer Mr. Tony Bennett, Dean Sams of Lone Star, Ed Rowland of Collective Soul, James Hetfield of Metallica, Lee Rocker of the Stray Cats, Ian Berenson of a Pilot, Johnny Graham of Earth, Wind & Fire, B.B. Dickerson of War, John York of The Birds, Beverly Lee of The Shirelles, Kenny Hodges of Spanky and Our Gang, Arthur Wood of Climax Blues Band, Gordon Stoker of The Jordanaires, composer Richard Adler, singer Lucky Doobie, singer Roy C., David Peel of The Lower East Side Band, singer Sarita Wright, folk music singer Sally Oldfield, Holly Blake Arnstein of Dream, jazz trumpet player Charlie Shavers, jazz trumpet player Les Elgart, the conductor for the Ed Sullivan Show Orchestra, Mr. Ray Block, blues man Mercy D. Walton, skin of Skunk Anansi, Martin Atkins of Nine Inch Nails, Stephen Carpenter of the Deftones, rapper D.C. The Don, rapper John Gabbana, Rapper D.R.A.M. Rapper Bexy Swan. Guitarist Kirk Brandon of Theater of Hate and also the group Spear of Destiny. Guitarist Brian Bateman of The Railway Children. DJ Spinderella of Salt and Pepper fame. Singer Sean Tyler of Ducks Deluxe. Jazz pianist Vic Vogel. Bassist Lynn Christie. Percussionist Dom Um Romeo. Pianist Enrique Villegas, folk guitarist Joseph Spence, and pianist Edith Baker. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 3rd include composer Sebastian Duran, who passed away in 1716 at the age of 56. Composer Giovanni Martini passed away in 1784 at the age of 78. Composer Carl Friedrich Christian Fasch passed away in 1800 at the age of 63. Composer Ambrosio Minoja passed away in 1825 at the age of 72. Composer Charles Horn passed away in 1830 at the age of 68. Composer Wenzel Mueller passed away in 1835 at the age of 67. Composer Carl Lickle passed away in 1877 at the age of 75. Composer Pere August Olander passed away in 1886 at the age of 62. Composer August Klugart passed away in 1902 at the age of 54. Composer and singer Arthur Collins passed away in 1933 at the age of 69. Composer August Enna passed away in 1939 at the age of 80. Jazz trumpet player Corky Cornelius passed away from kidney failure in 1943 at the age of 28. Guitarist Luther Perkins passed away in 1968 at the age of 40. Composer Renato Fasano passed away in 1979 at the age of 76. Jazz saxophonist Seymour Osterwall passed away in 1981 at the age of 73. Conductor Antonia Brico passed away in 1989 at the age of 87. Jazz drummer Kansas Fields passed away in 1995 at the age of 79. Composer Alfred Schnitke passed away in 1998 at the age of 64. 
jazz bassist Leroy Vinegar passed away in 1999 at the age of 71. Singer-songwriter Roger Vidoris passed away in 2003 at the age of 49. Arthur Lee of the group Love passed away in 2006 at the age of 61. Opera singer Elizabeth Schwarzkopf passed away in 2006 at the age of 90. Eric Darling of the Rooftop Singers passed away in 2008 at the age of 74. Pianist Louis Tetcher of Ferrante and Tetcher passed away in 2008 at the age of 83. Singer Bobby Hebb, who sang the song Sunny, passed away in 2010 at the age of 72. Rosetta Hightower of the group The Orlans passed away in 2014 at the age of 70. Composer Adam Walasinski passed away in 2015 at the age of 86. Rapper C. Struggs passed away in 2018 at the age of 32. Singer Joe Longhorn passed away in 2019 at the age of 64. Village People co-founder Henri Belolo passed away in 2019 at the age of 82. And conductor and film score composer Carl Davis passed away in 2023 at the age of 86. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 4th, when in 1980, John Lennon and Yoko Ono got to work on what would turn out to be John's final album that would be released while he was alive, Double Fantasy. Thank you very, very much for listening, if you're listening on the podcast, or if you're watching this on YouTube or Spotify video. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this podcast. And if you like this podcast and you want more of our podcasts, then I invite you to check out our Music Halls of Fame podcast in either audio or video form. It drops every single Thursday. You can listen to the audio version of this podcast on Apple, Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, wherever you get your podcasts from, all under Music History Today. You can also watch the video version of this podcast on either YouTube or Spotify Video, also under Music History Today. Our Facebook page is Music History Today. Our website is jamaritaniamedia.com. And our Twitter is twitter.com backslash Music History Day. Thank you very, very much for listening or watching.